Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Kaylee and I are exploring Venice. And <laughs> more importantly, finding the best pizza and <laughs> gelato. Yes, obviously we are very excited to see all the sights mm -hmm. today in Venice, but as some of you may know, David is not a huge city <laughs> person. So we made a deal that we could go to all of the old historic sites here. If we stopped at every pizza by the slice shop, we yeah. walked by. Make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video because we are going to be ranking our top three pizza by the slice and gelato shops in Venice. Built on over 100 small islands in Northern Italy, Venice is one of the most unique cities we have ever visited. There are no roads for vehicles, just canals and narrow walking streets lined with charming shops and stunning architecture. The main tourist area is only about 2.5 kilometers long in each direction, making it extremely walkable. Known for being one of the most romantic cities in the world, Venice is a destination you don't want to miss during your time in Italy. Prepare to be blown away by the charming cobblestone streets, picturesque canals, historic masterpieces, and of course, the food. We do have an Italy travel guide for adventure lovers that covers all of our favorite places in Italy. From the best hikes in the Dolomites to renting your own boat to explore the Amalfi Coast, this guide has everything you need to know. Covering places like Venice, Rome, Florence, Cinque Terre, Amalfi, Capri, and the Dolomites in detail, let us take care of all of the research so that all you have to do is show up and enjoy. We have already got a ton of great feedback on this guide and cannot wait to share it with you. We will link it below, make sure to check it out. We started our day by visiting Ponte dell'Accademia for sunrise. This is one of only four bridges that crosses the Grand Canal and was one of my all time favorite places in Venice. From here, you have a great view of the Basilica di Santa Maria della Salute and the open water of the lagoon. From there, we walked 15 minutes to Piazza San Marco, AKA St. Mark's Square. This is the most popular public square in Venice and it's home to some of Venice's most famous buildings. After the plaza, we walked to get our first slice of pizza. So this one is from Pizzeria L'Angelo. We heard good things about it. What kind is it? Margarita. How much was it? Three euros for one slice, one very large slice. <laughs> oh, the tomato sauce is really good. Mm -hmm. I'll say that's like a, like an eight, eight and a half. Yeah. yeah. Just the one scoop of the salted caramel. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, this one is gelato from Igloo Gelateria. Mm -hmm. Salted caramel, two euros for one scoop. <laughs> Next up, we just got a slice from Pizzeria Sansovino. It looks really good. I don't know what flavor it is though. Olive. Olive. Simple. It looks good. It was three fifty. Yeah. Oh, pretty good. Out of ten. Seven point five. Oh. Like the cheese isn't like quite as the cheese and the sauce mm -hmm. isn't quite as just a little less flavorful. Yeah. But still good. Next, we walked a few minutes to the Scala Cantarini del Bovolo. This was one of my favorite viewpoints in Venice for two reasons. First, it offers mind-blowing views of the city from a magical open-air tower. Second, we love it because there was not very many people there. For some reason, this tower is not at the top of most people's to-do lists in Venice. We have no idea why, but you definitely want to make the trip. Okay, next up is Gelateria Paolin del 1760. We got the Oreo. It was two euros. What's the rating? What was the last one? Nine. Oh, it's so tough. Yeah, the last one was really good. I'm gonna give this one an eight. Kaylee's been directing us around the city and it's been going really, really well, actually. <laughs> Google Maps works like shite. So, <laughs> Kaylee's been uh, struggling hard and it's, like, it's been a maze. <laughs> well, there's so many little streets. The map just doesn't know where The GPS doesn't are. work. It just so it's bouncing around. us around. Yeah. When, once you look, you're on one side of the river, then it tells you you're on the other. So just prepare fun. for it. But yeah. it's, I mean, everywhere is beautiful. Every wrong turn, we found something cool. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right. 
So we just popped into SKK Mediterranean restaurant. We didn't find this one off of Google, but took a peek inside and it looks delicious. We got the four formaggio and it was four euros, which is the most expensive pizza we've got so far. But as Kaylee pointed out, there's some weight to it. There's so much cheese on this. <laughs> Oh my. What's our out of 10 rating? That is so cheesy. <laughs> like 10 out of 10 on the cheesy scale, but I'm gonna give that like eight and a half. Okay. Like eight and a half, yeah. That's really good. Next, we walk to Ponte de Canonica, which offers a stunning view of Ponte de Sospiri, also known as the Bridge of Sighs. This famous enclosed bridge connects the prison to the interrogation rooms. According to Venetian legend, the name of the bridge comes from the size of the prisoners who crossed it, catching their last glimpse of Venice through the tiny stone windows. So, one slice of cheese pizza from the crazy, crazy pizza? Crazy pizza. From crazy pizza. It was two euros and 30. So, definitely thinner than most of them, but it looks, I want to see really good. You can like, it is definitely oily. <laughs> Oh yeah. So good? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with uh, eight and a half. Eight and a half? Eight and a half. It's pretty good. Gelato number three <laughs> from a place called Sigasta. And we got the hazelnut rock flavor. Mm. This is the best. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing we stopped then. 9.5 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. We almost didn't even stop here. She is not wrong. Next we walk to the Birria Aqua Alta, which is a one-of-a-kind bookstore tucked away on a tiny street in Venice. There is a large gondola filled with books in the middle of the store and several resident cats keeping an eye on the visitors. It has recently become Instagram famous for a beautiful viewing platform built out the back of the shop on books. All right, next up, gelato from, I think it's called Gelateria Suso. It's melting all over my hands. It is caramel flavor. It was 320 for it in this dipped cone. It's really good. Like 9.5 to 10 out of 10. Okay, next up is the eggplant pizza from Pizzeria Mega One. It has got french fries on it. And for some reason it was only two euros. I think they cost more than that, but we just got a screaming deal. It's not what I was expecting. Out of 10? I don't know. Try it. Yeah, there's like no sauce on it, hey? Yeah. It's just like mozzarella french fries and eggplant on there. I mean, it's good. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say like seven. The fries aren't that good. That's the problem. They're a little bland. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, she's taking them off. Mm. Where are the pigeons? Pigeon food, oh god, incoming. <laughs> Next, we walked across Ponte di Rialto, which is the oldest bridge that spans the Grand Canal. Lined with vendors and connecting two bustling neighborhoods, this bridge and the surrounding area are always lively and crowded. We stopped at <laughs> a little... Honestly, we're getting really full at this point, <laughs> but we were like, well, it looks really good and we can't not have it in the video maybe it's the best pizza place yeah so this is farini's and it is very well rated it's pretty modern a little bit different from the other places yeah it's kind of like a pizza cafe they have lots of other stuff but most expensive of course you Four, know. 420 420 and quite possibly the smallest there's a lot of crust i'm not really a big fan of that we'll see just got the regular cheese by the way oh it's really good yeah mm-hmm <laughs> hey. The spices. Yeah, it's very flavorful. The spices the are crust nice. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna give this a nine. So, David seems to be still full from earlier. I am ready to continue on with the pizza journey. So, this is from Pizza Al Volo. It was two fifty for a massive slice. Thin. <laughs> Oh, 
pretty good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? Eight. <laughs> Eight. All right, next up, Pizzeria Toleta. Okay, so backstory. David and I have the best ever French fry pizza in the Dolomites. And so every time we see it, we're like, it's pretty good, this one. Eight. Yeah, I'd say an eight and a half. Eight and a half. For sure. Ten. It's yeah. pretty good. They also have gelato. <laughs> and it was two fifty for a piece, which mm -hmm. is pretty reasonable. Pretty big piece. We finished off the night at this beautiful sunset spot, which we found while we were wandering the streets of Venice. We will link the coordinates for it below in case you want to check it out for yourself. And now the moment you have all been waiting for our top three pizza by the slice and gelato shops in Venice. Third place for gelato goes to Gelateria Artigianale Igloo. Second place goes to Gelateria Sigusta. And first place goes to Gelatoteca Suso. Third place for pizza by the slice goes to SKK Mediterranean Halal. Second place goes to Crazy Pizza. And first place is a tie between Farini and Pizzeria L'Angelo. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if you liked it, and check out our Italy travel guide. We will see you next week.